What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. Time for another Lego update on the city. Let's check out a few things I've got done. Made a little bit of progress. Um, let's start out with the train. Got my regulator up. Got to do a couple things and tweak a few things to get it to run. About 99% of the way there. Just a couple little things. That'll probably be in the next video where I get the train running around. I still got to do a little bit of ballasting too. Um, along with trying to get those crossings lined up perfect. There's a little bit of work I got to do still. So I'm still not happy with it. Um, on the farm, not a lot's changed. These trees are not going to stay here. These are just my trees. My all, they're all custom trees. Um, things that I brought down from my little temporary studio filming area upstairs. So I just kind of put them here for now. I'll place them throughout the city because my city's actually going to have trees unlike some other cities that you may see. Um, nothing else really with the farm right now. I think I covered the windmill. Not sure if I did in the last video. If not, there it is. Oh, we got a skunk now. <laughs> um, over here, that's temporary. I need to raise this table up to make that the same level. So I got to get some wooden blocks. I thought I had some and they're too short. So I, they're not thick enough. So I need to get some more. I added this little road. Oh, we can see the little coffee shop. That's temporary. It's just there for a spot. My totally custom little dozer. I did a video on this. That's almost a year ago. You want to check that out. It talks how to build a little bit of, of it. Um, got this road going along the tracks. I'll probably fill this in with green. Just plates. So just to have something there to where it's not just the wood showing through. Right there, the black wall. That's going to be where the parking garage goes into that area. Right now I'm using the Ikea boxes. Maybe in the future, well down the road, I may end up just brick building that whole raised area here and putting an actual parking garage under there. But for right now, it's really low on the list and I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll probably put an archway over it. I'm going to cover up these, probably extend out the sidewalk here because my goal is to add that shuttle, airport shuttle, monorail, and have a raised platform somewhere right here. And it's going to go down through there and enter into the museum on that level right there. So we're getting closer to that. I'm trying to get a lot of other stuff done first, namely the 9-volt train. Um, oh, yeah, just make sure everyone knows that is 9-volt. That's not that plastic battery stuff that is out now that you have to change the batteries constantly. Oh, I've got that. I've got the uh, Christmas train, and, man, that's a pain. So things we've done, other things that I've added. I got this built, the new modular building. It may not stay in this spot. It's kind of a weird place. Just it's a weird shape building. So you're always going to have a gap on one side. And I really don't know the best place for it yet. So being this little square, it's hard to say. Um, the other thing you'll notice, yeah, I've got my other modular building down here now. As I come around, oh, we'll just come through here. So Grand Emporium is now on the block. Oh, I got my Scooby-Doo mystery machine on the block, too. Got a little bit more tiling done for the uh, museum. I'll look down through there. And the other, I guess, big, I don't know. The other update is we got part of Main Street tiled off all the way on the sides and mostly done. So that's a pretty decent shot. I know a lot of the cars... I'll probably end up moving some of the cars and stuff, trying to change out. The problem with my car situation is the last, what, six years or so, Legos really just went solely to the six-wide car, not counting Speed Champs, um, that are brand new, the brand new Speed Champs cars. 
most of my stuff when I was a kid, it was all four wide. So now I've got this problem that I'm going to try to figure out how to integrate four wide and six wide cars into the city. Like you see the new crane there. I've got a big crane that's four wide. It came out in the early 80s. A lot of my construction equipment, four wide, and a lot of the cars and SUVs and campers. Let's take a look here. I'll come down here. Yeah, that, that's, like I said, still a work in progress. i figure out the ramping system on that because I'm not happy. That's not how it's going to stay. Um, yeah, we got fire hydrants. We got trash cans. We got mailboxes. Our hot dog vendor out. He's in front of the firehouse. I've put him there because I figured the owner of the Parisian restaurant would get pretty pissed off with him trying to sell hot dogs in front of this fancy restaurant. Um, what else do we have? That new minifigure that came out in the, uh, I think it's the build a minifigure box or display that they have at the Lego store. I picked up one of those. I have a, another color one. I just got to figure out where it's at. I'll add that one to my custom Lego store. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. So you get a three pack of those for 10 bucks. One of the other ones is my balloon guy where you get the little balloon dog. That's pretty interesting. I put that in front of my sit complex. Added the, you get this with the motorcycle Batman thing that's out now, the two motorcycles. So I added that on top of City Hall. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. The Christmas F for the fire station that you get in the, um, oh, I just drawn a blank all day. In the advent calendars, the other big thing, oh yes, we got our little cake guy there. He was the uh, the third guy in the collection. I got part of the farm worked on. So, got our farm fencing, one of the coolest little areas, my little creek, which, it's like, why is it right there? Well, the waterfall, let me move this back. The waterfall is actually right here, and it comes down, so I'm going to have to build this out just a little bit on that gray plate, and it'll meet there, and what's going to happen is it's going to come back through here. I'll make a little bridge type thing and just make it go off the edge, so the creek kind of just goes down. I'll make a little thing here, make it more sidewalk friendly, because we've got our assembly square area here and we've got our road and I know I know I know this isn't this is lower than this whatever I'm fine with it the other side's higher give and take you can't uh, it's not going to be perfection there's a lot of stuff that I wish was exact but it's not so give and take got my sheep in my large one of my large trees in their little enclosure. I don't know if I'm going to make this whole thing the sheep enclosure all the way down or maybe cut it off and split it sheep and something else. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards because that's a lot of area for six or eight sheep. I saw the new sheep mold, which you actually get. It's like a little blanket almost covering form, which it's just more wool that goes on them that just clicks on their back. Kind of like the old 1980s horses that had the like the drape decorative wear whenever they go into battle or in the jousting tournaments. So similar to that kind of design. And you get a little lamb also. So I, I don't know if I'm going to buy multiples of that set that does have a tractor because I'm going to get that regardless. Um, I've heard 50 and I've heard 70. I'm thinking that set's probably going to be 70 bucks. So I may buy one and then just get on BrickLink and Bricks and Pieces and then just start buying a bunch of the lambs and the cows. The corn pieces are by far one of the biggest things for me. So I can have that field, just a huge corn field. You know, buy several hundred pieces of each piece to have a huge corn field. But... That's what most of the video is. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Oh, a little quick Lego room update. 
bought a half shelf. I got my Simpsons house and Quickie Mart. I just filled it with the, because I have no room for that in the city yet. And then my Coliseum, just to have somewhere to go. I had to do a half, half and not a full one. Not because of the Iron Man, but because of the light switch. So, <laughs> I guess work with what you got in the space that you have. Everything's looking pretty good. No complaints. Everything's, I guess, in order. It looks like a cluster mess, but I guess if it's your cluster mess and you know where it is, it's not a mess, is it? <laughs> Oh, what a day, what a day. I hope you guys have a good day. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys are just subscribed, I'll have more videos out pretty soon. I try to do a Lego update, city update, once a week, once every two weeks, less than two weeks. So a week and a half. There's only so much you can do to make it worthwhile to make a video. One thing I've already decided against is the strip which I'm calling this, it's going to change. I think that's one reason why the crane's on his way. What we're going to do, and it'll be in the next video, is, well, one, we're going to clean the corner garage. You can see my fingerprint right there on the glass, showing how dirty it is. I need to clean that. We're going to take out these two base plates, move them over, we're going to reposition that one. Probably somewhere over here we might move the diner there because it's going to be right along the tracks. So I can't have a, a garage that just drives into the train tracks. And like this area here that's all studs, keep in mind that's where the, rail, or the monorail is going to go. It's going to be an elevated monorail, but still it's going to be there taking up space. So we're going to do a little bit of moving. Part of that reason is... Most of the area is complete, but we got to figure out a place for that. And the best thing to do to save space is to remove road plates that take up a lot of dead space. So when you come down, you come down here you can go to the right. I'm sorry, the left. And you can go to the right and go around this, which that needs to be fixed. No real need to have those two extra road plates because it's just a bunch of dead area and I think I'm committed to leaving that area right there where the little skate park is open I'll, I'll put a building there but it's going to be a lower building because that's a great it's like my good access point for the middle of the table to reach between the two buildings there to access a lot of stuff at least three or four base plates in so I can reach to at least where that straight road plate is there in to get stuff and move stuff, pick it up, clean it, reposition stuff. So I think that's going to be one of my good areas. But I don't like just this straight area of nothing built, dead zone. So I think that's how I'm going to fix that is move corner buildings there. One of them is going to be the police station. We'll figure out what the next one is. I may have a surprise in the next video. Stay tuned. We hope to see you soon down on the farm.